Hey everyone, okay, so I'm going to take you through my makeup collection and where I film and a whole host of other things because you've asked to sort of see everything. So um, we'll start with this sort of side of the room and work our way around. So as you can see here, well actually outside is where the dirty washing goes, but here are brushes that need to be cleaned and there's some um, brush cleanser that I got with this kind of cleaning device by the brush guard which I absolutely love. Um, all my brushes and they're kind of organized into lay down brushes, crease, blending, pencil, um, liners, you know that sort of thing. This is my makeup box and we'll start at the top. Um, there's some brushes behind there and pencils, lip liners, you know all that kind of stuff, primers some new beauty blenders and some Makeup Forever Aqua pencils and a manual for my camera you'll see in a minute which one day I'll read and a Ray Morris brush which is stuck to the side. Starting with this drawer here is all mascaras and in these two drawers are lipsticks that I haven't sort of depotted yet. Some MAC mineralized skin finishes, some highlighters and the rest is gel liners all the way down, some MAC paint pots. Let me take them out so you can kind of see them. Aqua creams by Makeup Forever and some pigments. So lots of things in here. And I got this from Screen Face, this box here. This one is all filled with pigments. Uh, lipstick palettes. These two sections are filled with Makeup Atelier eyeshadow palettes. In here is a collection of blushes, lots of different creams and powder blushes. This box is filled with lip glosses and lipsticks. And finally this bottom one is filled with different cream foundations. So Graftobian, Makeup Forever, MAC, a uh, whole host of them. Okay, so this is the makeup station and this is where I film and you can see there's six lights and I bought the lights from Ikea and I got the makeup station from Guru Makeup Emporium in London and I bought it all myself. The two lights at the top are by Glamcore and this is just so that when I film we have light. This is the new camera which is the Canon um, 60D or 600D which is very nice and this is what I tend to film with now because the quality is better. So start at the back, there are two eyeshadow palettes here by Paris and Berlin. These are all Makeup Forever palettes that have sort of Makeup Forever eyeshadows in. Embrelease here and my camera. So more brushes, this Louise Young, Ray Morris, Hakudo I think and Ray Morris again. We have, this is just a booklet because I've just done a review on an Avon foundation which is amazing. Mud foundation palette which the formula to this has recently changed and they are amazing. So I love that. MAC palette. Um, Inglot palettes which I got. I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep them or give them away as prizes so sort of stay tuned. Remote control. These are artistic eyeshadows by Makeup Atelier. There's liners and all that kind of stuff. In here is powder liners. There's Ket cream foundations. A whole host of Ray Morris brushes and Hakudo one. Sharpener. In this section is all airbrush foundations by Ket. And that's a temp to airbrush compressor, which I believe is not plugged in at the moment, but it plugs into here. So this is the station and I'll sort of zoom back so you can kind of see it a bit better. There we go. I love it. I think because, you know, it took me so long to sort of pay for it that, <laughs> that I really love it. And this is a drawer that sort of pulls out and you can see there's sponges, which need a wash. Um, lip tars. This is the palettes that I showed you before. This is with NARS and underneath is some loose pressed powders. And these are Makeup Atelier eyeshadows as well. And my favorite lipsticks are Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense, which I depotted and pushed into these cases. So that's the makeup station. If I can get it back in. 
And I'm gonna show you where I keep some more stuff as well. Here we are again. Okay, so this is like a double door. And in here is some more makeup. So at the top we've got loose powders that I've put into little containers. There's some pigments here as well. These are all the mink eyelashes. I keep them all in here. On this section we've got Makeup Forever Sculpting Powders, um, blushes, Ket, Chanel, MAC, Makeup Forever, that kind of thing. Uh, Kevin Aqua blushes and eyeshadows and lip palettes. Some Dior blushes here. Um, Tom Ford there as well. And then we've got liquid foundations along this section. These are amazing by um, Pam in London. Their foundation palettes that are wax based, they're amazing. Um, RCMA foundation palettes, which I may get rid of, I don't know. Concealer palette, some Dior eyeshadows are in here. And then we have skincare. And that is my entire collection. So let me just bring you back here. And there you go, that's it. That's where I film and that's the bulk of my makeup. I think looking back on it, I would not have got so much makeup. I've accumulated a hell of a lot of stuff. I probably would have brought brushes with it instead. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.